Okay, I'm reloaded. Belly going stupid. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Bro, got a switch while he be driving. Sure, that's semi automatic. Didn't change. I ain't been the same since I see Granny in that cash. Take a risk. Don't be a fool. Don't put your hands on him. Tactical family. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Tactical Mike and today I'm going to be displaying my full Palmetto State Armory collection. But before I actually get into the collection, today that I'm recording this is February 23rd. We have hit 25,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now if you're not subscribed, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 26,000. Now, if you have been following the channel at all, you would know that I'm a big Palmetto State Armory customer. Before I get into the actual firearms, I just have to advise, of course, we are in a safe and controlled environment. Also, I do not promote the sale or modification of any firearm periods. This video is solely for educational and entertainment purposes. All right, so let's just get right into it. I don't have any specific order that I'm gonna be showing these guns. I'm just gonna be grabbing and showing them to you guys. So the very first one is the closest to me. Ah, we've got the beautiful Palmetto State Armory AKV, nine millimeter PCC pistol caliber carbines on an AK platform. As we can see, everything is AK ergonomics, charging handle, so forth and so on. I do have a SBA3 brace on it. Of course, this is a pistol. I do have a 20 round magazine. These magazines are also compatible with Scorpions. So that's a plus. It does come equipped with the ALG trigger. As far as my red dot option, up top right now, I do have a Sealy T3 red dot. They are an affordable red dot company. And man, as far as my AKs, this one, next to the Draco, this will be one of my favorites, man. Palmetto State Army, you did a really amazing job with producing this firearm. Again, this is the AKV chambered in nine millimeter. Next, I've got my beautiful fire cannon. This thing right here, goodness gracious. This is the Palmetto State Armory PA-15 Marauder. This is a seven inch barrel, and I call this thing a fire cannon because man, the concussion you get from shooting this little tiny barrel is crazy. This bad boy is chambered in 5.56, of course. I also have a SB Tactical SBA3 brace on the rear. On this bad boy, I do have that SIG Romeo 5. Of course, I do have an ambidextrous charging handle on this bad boy. This little piece is an adapter for this. If you're ever in a situation where you want to recycle your used brass, once you fire, your expelled brass will fall down in this case and it won't be on the ground. What do you mean by that? CV Life sent this brass catcher out to the channel. Full review for this will be coming out soon. PSA, seven inch Marauder, chambered in 5.56. Next, PCC, pistol caliber carbine. We got another one. This bad boy right here is my primary home defense. This is the Palmetto State Armory PX9, chambered in nine millimeter. Now this specific firearm comes equipped with um, a clear ETS mag. The good thing about this gun is that it takes your Glock magazines, your Glock double stack mags, like the Glock 19, so forth and so on. So right now I have a 20 round mag in there. As we see at the tip, I do have this amazing double headed flashlight. This is called the Bryn Knight Scorpion. Super bright, amazing flashlight, rechargeable. Bryn Knight sent this out to the channel. Definitely appreciate you guys. Also, we do have some fiber optic pop-up sights. Front and rear, of course. I do have a 
Magpul hand stop. We do got a big boy hollow sun up here. As you can see, I forget the exact name of this model. I'll put it somewhere on the video. But we do have a solar panel backup. We got a SBA3 pistol brace on the back. This is the PSA PX9 9 millimeter. Next, we have my most recent purchase. This is the all new Palmetto State Armory Micro Dagger, AKA the Glock 43X MOS clone. Chambered in nine millimeter. If you'd like to see the full review on this, it'll be in the description below. This gun does come with a 15 round magazine. This has the white circle iron sights on here. Really great. And it's also cut for an optic. So I would be throwing uh, a hollow sun up here. Again, this is the PSA micro dagger, chambered in nine millimeter. Ah, next, my favorite weapon from Palmetto State Armory. If you're not aware, this is the Palmetto State Armory Jackal chambered in 300 blackout. I have been waiting to try to find the right brace to put on here. I don't want to do the SBR route right now. Eventually, I will SBR it and I will get a suppressor for it. But for now, I just want to have fun and shoot it with the most accuracy. So I'm going to get a pistol brace to throw on here. Don't know which one yet, but it's coming. Up top, I have another hollow sun. This is the HS510C red dot of course we got the solar panel backups on here i'm thinking about actually buying like four more of these red dots and throwing them on all my rifles but we'll see this is the most powerful laser that i have in all of my collection to be honest with you this is none other than the crimson trace get the exact model but it's a light laser combo i have the little switch up top so it, it is a green laser and for the light feature you just turn right there you can have light and laser on at the same time or you can just have just like this gun is absolutely sexy this is the flat dark earth psa jackal 300 blackout all right next we got a dagger this is the compact size dagger not the micro this is the micro compared to the compact longer thicker wider but this is my compact dagger chambered in nine millimeter this is my bedside gun. I have a biometric safe sitting next to my bedside and this is always there. I do have that same 20 round Glock magazine in here. Up top, I got my Sealy Wolf 2 red dot up here. I love the size of the reticle. It's bright, crisp, motion activated, actually, every red dot that you see down here is motion activated that's one requirement i have when i have my red dots they have to be motion activated we got the ati enhanced trigger on here this does come with a chameleon threaded and fluted barrel and i got the tlr 7a stream light flashlight on here if you're gonna have a gun for self-defense you know at nighttime you got to be able to see what you're aiming at man so bam Got one of the best flashlights you can come across. Again, this is the PSA Dagger 9mm. All right, next we do have my PA-15 Classic M4 build. Of course, I chose to get this bad boy in flat dark earth, as you can see. Firearm is chambered in 5.56223. I do have a ambidextrous charging handle on this bad boy. I currently have the CV Life 2 MOA red dot. Um, of course, this is motion activated as well. This firearm embodies the classic military M4 so with me being prior service, you know, when I saw they were offering something like this, I had to go ahead and grab this. Reminds me of what we shot in the military. 16 inch rifle, it's not a pistol. So I do have a actual stock on this one. For 2024, my goal is to upgrade everything. Again, this is the PSA PA-15 Classic M4. Next, we've got another dagger. Man, I love daggers, as you can see two compacts and one micro of course i got the hollow sun hs 407c red dot up top solar panel like i said again 
Scorsese motion activated. Beautiful slide cut, supported slide, whatever y'all want to call it. As far as the light on here, I do have the rechargeable um, Olight PO3R Valkyrie. Um, we do have a threaded barrel on this bad boy. And I have a plus five extension at the bottom here. Um, with that plus five, I do have a Terran Tactical plus five spring inside of here. You know, I got my PSA Dagger Terran Tactical. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to build my next dagger. PSA Dagger Compact, nine millimeter. All right, and last but not least, definitely not least, this bad boy right here is my PSA PA-15. This is chambered in 5.56. Um, this is my 10 and a half inch barrel. So I do have the SBA-4 pistol brace on the rear here. I know some people see this and they think it's a stock, but in actuality, this is the um, SB Tactical pistol brace. I do have my ambidextrous charging handle here as you can see love ambi um i do have the silly bear red dot up top of course motion activated red dot i do have a mag pull angle grip on this bad boy and then as far as this flashlight up here this is actually a light laser combo this is a cv light flashlight they send this one out to the channel extremely bright i do have the uh, pressure pad over here on the side as far as ars go I definitely have the most rounds through this one. Um, this is just my go-to simply because it's the most familiar design. So again, that is the lovely PA-15 from Palmetto 10 and a half inch barrel. Well, all right guys, so that is my complete Palmetto State Armory collection. That's a total of nine guns from Palmetto State Armory. And I already know which weapons I wanna get for the rest of 2024 from PSA. I'm looking for a full length rifle, 16 inches. Definitely need one of those. Um, I want a couple of more daggers, micro daggers, um, and definitely that AK GF3. I'm definitely looking at getting an AK. I don't have a full length AK and I think I want my first one to come from Paul Metal State Armory. So definitely be on the lookout for those. So let me know what you think about my Paul Metal State Armory collection. You know, drop a comment down below. And please don't be in the comments being a hater, man. But all right, man. So again, my name is Tactical Mike. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Peace. Learn my ABC, became a GM, picked up 223. Yo, Jack and me. Big my panel, pay me. County bears up with no problem. Four, five, six, shit, math to me. We're stacking GP and May, any year with GM 33.